Hello everybody, welcome back to another Seasons A How-To Guide Tips and Tricks. This is part 6 on animals. And uh, I've titled this episode, Cows, Pigs, and Sheep, What's Different and Why? And I have to say that there is not much that hasn't changed uh, in seasons with respect to animals. Meaning that uh, very much has changed. In fact, almost everything related to animals that you may know, I just completely forget because it's all different. Uh, but before we pull this up, I wanted to uh, show you on the mod screen, there's some essential mods that I think really would aid in animal husbandry with respect to seasons. That is viable silo, animal table manners, uh, buy, buy bales, and the draw mixer wagon. Those are very, very useful mods. Now, some may argue that animal table manners is not realistic. Uh, but I'll argue that the way the animals are so sloppy and messy in Farm Sim is itself maybe a little bit unrealistic. Especially if you start talking about a large number of animals, it is almost impossible to keep them clean without basically, that's all you do, is just run up and down the, the feed trough keeping them clean. Let's go ahead and jump on in. Then others will say, well, you should use the Lily Robot. And you know what? That robot is just a hateful little thing. Uh, I can never get it to work right. So this is what I do. You all can play different. There's no wrong way to play. There's no right way to play versus somebody else's way. I just like to use animal table manners so I can focus on other things other than cleaning up after the most sloppiest dirty animals I have ever seen in my life. So what has stayed the same? Um, the animals look the same. Seasons hasn't changed the way the animals look. Uh, the animals still take food and water. That's about it. Everything else has pretty much changed. So let's jump over here to the shop. Uh, and for this example, we're going to actually buy, let's jump down the cow pasture. We're going to buy some cows. So as I mentioned in the very first part of this uh, series, we look at the Alt S screen and we look at our economy tab. Let's go to cows see that prices change throughout the year uh, of course we are on three day seasons so we have some pretty steep grades if we change this to 24 day seasons or something else you'll see a much uh, smoother curve but no doubt prices change in fact we just re we just pet missed the lowest price point for cows um for the entire year and now we are paying nearly the highest price just basically missing it by a day literally Let's go ahead and buy up. We're going to buy um, 10 cows. Good number to start out with. And you can see we are now spending $5,550 per cow. And the base game price is $5,000 per cow. Um, so you will have times where cows cost more than, uh, than base game. And you'll have definitely have times where, where cows will cost less than the base game. And the key to winning you want to dare say winning at farm sim is to maximize your money and in order to maximize your money one key strategy is to not buy your animals until they're at the lowest price point possible so for us that would have been at some point during midsummer uh, with three day seasons there's obviously only one day of midsummer but uh you'll have to kind of Check and uh, keep checking your prices during midsummer and grab it when you think the prices have reached rock bottom. Let's take a look at the escape menu. And you'll see now that with our animals area, we now have a health indicator. It's no longer um, productivity, it's now health. Let me read a little bit from the Realismus website related to animal producti productivity, which is now labeled animal health. Uh, with Seasons version 1.2 came a new feature that controls productivity of animals. Productivity of animals is now calculated over time, which means that there are no immediate effects to changes in diet. That would be related to uh, missing or running out of various food items. When playing farm sim with Seasons, Visible productivity of animals are dependent on what they are fed. Whether pigs and cows have straw and they have enough water to drink. Also, if their feeding area is dirty. 
be less than 10% cleanliness, the productivity is reduced. With seasons, the birth rate, wool, and milk production um, varies also throughout the year. Cows give birth during the summer, sheep in spring, while pigs give birth both in spring and autumn. Many farms today give birth uh, all year round, but we still want to keep this as a seasonal aspect. Sheep produce wool in the spring and summer, simulating shearing after the cold winter. Milk production also varies throughout the year. The combination of output being instantaneous results of diet, water, and straw, and the seasonal variation of output from the animals was not realistic. It is not like the milk production will increase by 20% just because the cows are suddenly being fed grass. One could also cheat by feeding minimum amounts during the season when output was small or none. I'm just checking here to see if I want to read any more. Not really. You can go to the Realismus website and read. They have a blog post uh, from November about animal productivity. So what that said is that cows reproduce during the summer. Uh, during the rest of the year, the reproduction rate will basically be as it is right now. Pigs reproduce in spring and autumn. During summer and winter, will not get any more birth, birthing of pigs. And sheep only reproduce during the spring. Um, sheep produce wool during spring, mostly, then have a reduced output of wool in summer. Um, cows will produce milk year-round, but they will definitely produce... A varying amount of milk per season. Uh, I think I think they produce the least amount of milk during winter or during summer and the theory of that is that they're giving most of their milk to their um, calves, baby cows. Uh, they produce the most amount of milk during winter or autumn I believe. Um, winter is reduced a little bit because we can't feed grass because we don't have any grass to feed because it's all gone um, and I think milk production is fairly low still in spring but basically just is milk output will vary during the year um, so let's talk about feeding so we alluded that grass obviously you can feed only three seasons out of the year because during winter grass gets knocked down to the harvested state we've already talked about how grass you can't store grass so even if you bale up grass, um, even playing three-day seasons, bale up a bunch of grass the last day of autumn, and you can keep it through um, probably the very early in the third day of winter. But then it's gone. Uh, you won't have any grass for the last part of winter, and you won't have any grass for the first part of spring. Um, that's with the most optimal three-day seasons where grass would last the longest. If you play a little longer seasons, grass is going to disappear much faster and therefore you're going to lose your productivity or health levels, uh, but it's not a big deal. Uh, don't be caught up on trying to keep your animal health at 100% because you're not going to be able to simply because of how things are averaged now and how um, grass is non-existent during the winter. So other strategies is if you feed, now of course I have hay pellets here because I have the straw harvest add-on DLC. If you feed power food, do not, under any circumstances, also feed hay and silage. You're just wasting food. If you feed power food, do not feed separate hay or silage because these two columns will go up evenly if you feed power food. So if you get into feeding power food, only put power food in, grass, and grass, and straw, and water. That's all you need to do. And we're going to demonstrate that here in a little bit. Let's jump back up here to store. I want to buy some stuff. We're going to go in here, and we are going to go to pallets. And we're going to buy some bales. We're going to buy some straw bales. So with this mod, you get eight straw bales for $5,200. We're going to buy some hay bales. Get eight bales for $8,300. And we're 
and we're going to buy some silage bales. Silage bales are expensive. We get eight silage bales for $15,000. There they are for stacks of bales. So the reason that buy bales is what I would call a essential mod for seasons in animal husbandry is that uh, if you run out of bales, uh, let's say if you run out of straw or hay, you're not going to be able to whip up straw and hay super fast depending on the year, part of the year you're in. There may not be any hay to make because there's no grass to mow. If you uh, run out of silage bales and you go to, uh, you know, you've got hay or grass to cut and wrap, but you've got to wait for them to ferment now. They don't instantly ferment. So they take one seasonal transition um, to ferment. So if you're playing, let's say, three-day seasons, it's just one game day. But if you're playing nine-day seasons, it's three game days before you get a fermented silage bale. Let's go ahead and um, buy up mixer over here. We're also going to get a water trailer. And we've got a tractor already. Let's get a a little quick telehandler. And a bale fork. Alright. So let's go on and let's get started with caring for our um Cows. Tractor here. Let's just use this. Let's drop the mowers off up here. Well, I could have used the hay that's over here, but oh well. But I had to run around and pick them up, so it's fine. So while we're talking about animals, or uh, yeah, animals and feed, I'm going to show you a really cool spreadsheet that I made up. I think it's really cool because I made it um, that helps you really plan out your animal feed needs so get this hooked up to our mixer and then I'll show you what's going on here it's out of the way alright I'll be right back with you Okay, so here we have a spreadsheet that I made up. It's called Animal Feed, uh, Seasons Animal Feed Requirements. Um, and we're on the Cows tab. We have a tab for cows, sheep, and pigs. The way we use this spreadsheet is very simple. First, we look at this table right here. And we look at what is our season length. Well, we're playing three-day seasons currently so our day factor is one we go over here and we put in our day factor of one and then we enter the desired number of cows that we wish to care for so I put in 10 the other thing we want to enter here is what do, how do we mix our TMR power food well I'm gonna mix 50% um, hay and 25% silage and 25% straw Okay, well, down here it says I will need eight bales of hay, eight bales of straw, and four bales of silage for the entire game year to care for my 10 cows. If I go up here and I change this to 0.5 and this 0.25, I now need four bales of hay, eight bales of straw, and eight bales of silage to care for my 10 cows for the entire year. So this section called constants, this you cannot change. This is fixed, um, basically grass, hay, silage, and power food. This is straight out of the game as far as the um, feed ratios that the cows feed, eat. Uh, the TMR mix, this is straight out of the game. Basically when you feed power food, 
um, 63% will go towards hay silage, and only 37% will actually go to the power food um, column. That is what that represents. And then this column basically represents what Seasons says one cow needs for eight for a six day seasons for an entire per day. Sorry about that. So it's one cow's feed requirements per day based on a six day season. Okay, so spring cow will eat 315 units of food and will require, require 52 and a half units of straw for bedding. During summer, they will need 315 units of food and 17 and a half uh, units of straw for bedding. So a significantly lower amount. Autumn, they'll eat more, 350 units, uh, but they'll need significantly more straw also at 70. And now winter, they are eating like pigs, if you will. They need 420 units of food and they use 140 units of straw per day um, during the winter season. So let's go down here and check. We've got a couple more columns. This is the amount of food you need to feed 10 cows every three days, okay? Based on our season length of three day seasons. Now let's pay attention to this. We're gonna focus on this column for a little bit of time here. So during spring, we need to feed 10 cows 3,700, almost 3,800 liters of grass. During summer, about the same, 3,780. During autumn, we need to feed them 4,200 liters of grass for the same three-day period. And winter, we can't feed grass, so there's no, there's no information there. If we try to feed grass, it's basically going to say grass is not accepted. Um, if you do want to kind of cheat the system, fill up the grass trough on the last day of autumn and uh, you'll get a couple of days of winter um, productivity out of that, but uh, you won't be able to feed any grass during winter. Now this column, if you do not feed power food, then this is the amount of hay and silage you would need to feed each season for 10 cows. If you do feed power food, do not, do not look at this column, uh, look at this column only. <clears throat> So in spring and summer, if you only feed power food and grass to your cows, you'll need 15,000 liters of power food every three days, 10 cows. Now in winter, you're gonna need 20,000 liters of power food every three days, 10 cows. Then over here, this is what you need for bedding um, for the various four seasons. Now, if we go down here and look at the last column, this is what you need to feed 10 cows over the entire season duration, okay? Or for the entire year as these columns represent. Now what you'll notice is these columns mirror the top table exactly for three day seasons. And that is because in seasons, you feed your animals every three days. So in the base game, you feed your animals every six days, but in seasons, you feed every three days. Well, a three day season means every three days, you're feeding your animals the entire amount that they're gonna take for the entire season, okay? So that is why this is the same as the amount for the entire season. So some people start with three day seasons because they think that will be the easiest uh, because it's kind of lets you flip through the year the fastest, but it is the most difficult to keep fed, keep feeding your animals over a three day season period, in my opinion, because you have so little time to actually produce the amount of food that you need, the amount of animals that you're trying to keep. Uh, because I think most people try to care for animals for a bit more than just 10 cows over, over just a three day period. Let's, let's take this and let's just add this 25 cows, okay? Now, all of a sudden, every three days, you're needing to mix up 37,000 liters of power food. You're going to need 11 hay bales and 21 straw bales and 21 silage bales to feed your cows. It's not, that's not too terrible much, but you think about mixing up, that is like over two loads of power food every three days 
just for your cows, okay? Now, let's go up here and change this back to 10. Let's show you how, um, just going to a six day season, right? Run, change our day factor to two, how that affects things. So now we have, and the, what the day factor works is, this is the number of three day feeding periods per your season length, okay? So with a six day season, you have two three day feeding periods. So down here, we still need 3,780 liters of grass during spring, but now we only need to feed 1,890 liters every three days. We still need 15,120 liters of power food for spring for the whole season, but we only need to feed 7,500 liters of power food every three days during spring. Let's change this. Let's put this up here to three. For, for representing nine day season, okay? You'll see the bales we need still is four, eight, and eight, okay? You'll see food we still need to feed is the same. It doesn't change based on our season length. It is fixed for the entire year because it is based on what one cow needs for every six days um, for a six day season. Now we only need to feed 1,200 liters of grass and 5,000 liters of power food for those 10 cows for every three days. So it gets a lot easier to feed every three days. Let's blow this out to something like, um, let's just go to the extreme and go to 24 day seasons. Okay, now it is ridiculously easy to feed our cows. We need 473 liters of grass for spring. We need 1,890 liters of power food for spring every three days to feed 10 cows over a 24 day season. Again, our constant is the amount of food we need to feed every three, every, sorry. The constant is the total amount of food that we need to feed over the entire season and the entire year. While we've been playing with our season duration, this has never changed. The only thing that has changed is the amount of food we need to feed every three years. So let's go and blow this up to 100 cows over a 24 day season. So 100 cows, we need to feed 45, 4,700 liters of grass every three days and almost 19,000 liters of power food every three days during spring. But if we were to be totally insane and try to do that over a three-day season, we would need to come up with 37, 000, almost 38,000 liters of grass every three days, and we'd have to mix up 151,000 liters of power food every three days to feed those same number of cows, 100, over a three-day season length. So as you can see, um, season length can really affect how much you need to feed and how busy you are trying to keep your animals fed. This is just for cows. Go to pigs. We can um, demonstrate this also. Go to um, day seasons and 50 pigs. And you'll see how much food we need to be feeding every three days. How much food we need to keep over the year is a constant 50 pigs. But the amount of food we need to feed every three days is substantial for 50 pigs for three day seasons. Let's take this and make it um, 15 day season. You can see it's a bit more manageable now. So the total amount that we need to feed is constant for the year. So there will be a link to this spreadsheet in the description. I just wanted to show that. And what I want to also show, what I also want to show you is this column over here. This column estimates the amount of each product you will need and the field size you will need in order to feed the number of animals um, that you have entered. So with 10 cows, you need basically a half of a hectare for grass. You're just feeding grass or hay. You're feeding grass. If you're using grass for silage, then you'll need 1.11 hectares for, of grass. If you'll, you'll need 0.46 hectares of wheat or barley in order to get the amount of straw that you need. 
And if you want to use corn for chaff, you'll need 0.45 hectares. Let's blow this up to 100 cows. And you'll see now how that value changes. Now, this value does not affect three day seasons or any other season length. Um, that is simply a factor of um, crop uh, productivity. And this is assuming that you have plowed and that you have three day fertilization turned on and that you fertilized and plowed all your fields. Same goes over here for. Um, pigs. So if you're going to support 50 pigs for the entire year, this is what you would need as far as field sizes in order to keep those pigs fed and in straw. So this spreadsheet can become very, very handy to use with respect to your planting schedule. So you can figure out, well, if I have a, a field that is seven hectares, um, what do I need to put in it if I want to care for 50 cows? Well, it will fit for corn and you'll have a little extra. If you have a field that is four hectares, uh, you might not want to put soybeans in it. Instead, you may want to put in um, sunflowers in order to get the output that you need to get for you the food that you need to supply for your pigs. just want to show you all that. I'll be right back when we get back to the game. Okay, so now that we're back to the game, let's go ahead and mix up our power food. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to mix a ratio of 50% um, hay and thing out. I mix 50% hay and 25% um, silage and 25% straw. Grab one bale of silage. And this is why I like to draw a mixer wagon is because we can see where our mix is right away. Grab two bales of hay. And we're going to grab one bale of straw. We've already seen from our spreadsheet that we should need about 15,000, just under 16,000 liters, I think, of power food to feed those 10 cows during summer. Let's go ahead and get down there and feed them and see what it does. Or verify that those values are indeed correct. I'll do a quick edit here and be right back with you. All right, so here we are. Let's go ahead and start emptying our power food. And let's go over here and look at our animals tab. And I'll show you how both of these values are now going up on their own. Um, basically matched with each other again 67% is going here 37% is going here or basically whatever the math works out to be um, 100 so it looks like we did not quite pull up fill up all the way let's go back and get our water container I think I was a little off on that I'll need to uh, I need to check my spreadsheet real fast again. Let's do that. Check our spreadsheet real fast. So go ten cows, three day seasons. I should need. We're in summer, right?
here in late summer okay so I would have expected the power food 16,000 liters of power food to fill that column all the way up we didn't quite get there so we're a little off with our rounding calculation but you can get a pretty good idea of what you need to feed based on that spreadsheet Mix up another batch and I'll be right with you. Alright, so we are back now. Go ahead and finish feeding up, top everything off. And there you go. So we took um, 18,000 plus 4, so 21,000 liters, which is what I thought it should take. Let's go up here and grab our telehandler and grab um, some grass bales. Remember during our demonstration in the previous um, part of the series, bailed up some grass bales. They're going to be a little reduced in volume, but we're going to go ahead and uh, grab two just in case we need to feed more than one Really not realistic. So I only have one little spear in each bale. But at any rate, it's the job done now, doesn't it? So the key things to take away here is that very a lot has changed with respect to animals and seasons play very little is the same beyond the fact that you have animals so to highlight um, animal prices change throughout the year the best thing to do is to try to maximize your money uh, because you're going to have when you play with seasons you're not going to be able to to uh, constantly have a harvest coming in you know, pretty much every day. You're not going to be in a state where every day you could be harvesting a crop. So you need to kind of plan out your money usage. And in order to plan out your money usage, you need to um, basically maximize your money. And in order to maximize your money, you need to buy your animals when they're the cheapest possible. Okay? So to do that, you need to kind of plan out your time frame. Something else we haven't talked about is in seasons, animals will die. So if you don't feed them, uh, if they run out of food, come midnight, some number of animals, oops, some number of your animals will die um, overnight. So I know some people who play will buy their animals right up, and it may take several game days before they end up actually feeding them. Um, do that in seasons, you'll kill off your entire herd. Um, probably, you know, pretty quick. Go. That has filled them up. So, animals die if you don't feed them. Make sure that you keep them fed and watered. Uh, if for some reason they run out of food, try to get something in their feed troughs before midnight, or you will lose some animals. Okay? Other things? Depending on your season length, the amount of food that they need every three days will vary. The shorter your season, the more you need to feed your animals every three days. The longer your season, quite frankly, I think the easier it is to care for animals. Um, because the amount of food you need to feed every three days is lower. Regardless, regardless of your season length, the amount of food you need to feed every year is a constant. 
Okay. Some people think that, well, I don't want to play, let's say, 12-day seasons because I'm going to have to feed my animals a whole lot more than I will with six-day seasons because I'm playing twice as long a game year. Well, that's not the case, uh, as we have seen in our spreadsheet. The amount of food that we need to feed our animals is a constant value for the entire game year. That is because it is based on the amount of food the cow needs per day based on a six day season and things are basically divided out um, <clears throat> depending on season length. So if you play three day seasons, you need to feed an entire season's amount every three days. Play six day seasons, you only need to feed half of what the animal needs for an entire season. If you play nine day seasons, you only need to feed a third and it just goes on from there. So the longer your season length, easier it can be to care for animals because the amount of food that you need to feed every three days is lower. Animal productivity, again, just remember that uh, you're going to have cow births. Cows will only give birth during the summer. Um, sheep will only give birth during the spring. And pigs will only give birth during spring and autumn. Wool will only be produced in large quantities during spring and in smaller quantities during the summer. But for the rest of the year, your sheep are completely unproductive. All they're doing is consuming grass or hay. Uh, cows will have a varying amount of milk throughout the year. I believe the most milk they produce is during winter. Um, but that is somewhat counter counteracted by their reduction in overall health as a result of not being able to feed grass. Because during winter, grass is knocked down to this stage right here in the field. It is knocked down to a harvested state. And you're going to need to wait until at least mid-spring before you're able to mow any more grass to feed your cows. But that's fine. Because now with seasons 1.2, productivity, or i.e. animal health, is calculated over an average over the entire year. So if you keep your animals fairly healthy and fairly well fed for spring, summer, and autumn, then the fact that they don't have grass during winter is not going to be that big of a deal. It is critical to plan out how many animals you want basically at the start of your season's gameplay. I would not recommend going out and buying animals day one. Partially because you're going to pay a premium price for your animals. Second, you're not going to have any food to feed your animals on day one unless you play on maybe normal mode or easy mode and the particular map you're on has included um, bales or, or crops in the silo. Actually, speaking of that, let's talk about this silos, viable silos. So this is a mod that I talked about uh, at the start of the video. And with this, you can buy, uh, we don't need that, you can buy pig food. Fairly, fairly cheap. You can buy 20,000 liters of pig food for $2,300. You can buy 20,000 liters of corn for $11,000. 20,000 liters of silage for $11,000. It just goes on from there. <clears throat> I think this is forage. Sugar beets, potatoes. Soybeans, barley, wood chips, grass, wheat, sunflowers, or nola, chaff, straw, fertilizer, manure, fuel, bulk liquid fertilizer. So let's buy say pig food see over here the store now let's jump over to the store got our telehandler over there oh no we don't we have shop I will run away <clears throat> So you'll see at the store now, we have a silo just sitting in the parking lot. If we buy a tipper, 
and we bring the tipper underneath this fill pipe, we will get 20,000 liters of pig food, and then the silo will disappear. So if you do insist on buying animals early on in your season's play, the buyable silos mod can really help you out by being able to get you in your pig food or whatever other crop that you need in order to feed your animals until you're able to make that crop and get it ready for yourself. Otherwise, I would seriously suggest not buying cows until the middle of summer because by that point, <clears throat> you'll have been able to um, produce silage, you'll have been able to produce hay, and you probably will have straw coming very, very soon uh, with a wheat harvest. Uh, so you'll have everything you need to do to care for your cows by the time you buy them in midsummer, which conveniently is also the cheapest time to buy them. Sheep are cheapest during autumn. So again, wait until autumn. You can save a pretty penny because it looks like sheep are going to be just around $4,200 versus uh, right away they're over close to $6,000 and at their high point they're close to $7,000. Um, get a pretty good discount on sheep if you simply wait till autumn. Now you will miss on the first spring's productivity but again most times when you play with seasons if you just churn and burn for a year then you're really not getting much out of seasons. You're not really planning. The fun is when you plan for the coming year. You, you basically build up your first year to to have what you need for the second year and every year you play you just become more productive and more efficient <clears throat> so by the time you buy your sheep in autumn you've got plenty of food plenty of hay in order to feed them pigs same late autumn it's when you should buy your pigs look at this pigs are less than twenty three hundred dollars in late autumn I think they're like a low of $1,700, seriously, in late autumn, or a high of nearly $5,800 in early in late spring. Seriously, wait until late autumn to buy up your pigs. They will reproduce in winter. No, they reproduce in autumn. <clears throat> so you'll basically miss out on reproduction for your first year, um, but you'll be able to get more pigs for your money and by late autumn, you'll have all the crops you need in order to feed your pigs for the first year. You're not going to be buying in um, food in order to keep your pigs. So that is going to conclude part six on animal husbandry with seasons. I know it's a long episode, but animals are a big deal with seasons. A lot has changed. And in my opinion, you got to really plan out if you're going to be successful. So I hope you all enjoyed this video and next time we're going to come back we're going to talk about equipment.